The member of parliament for Garu, Albert Alal Zuga, has claimed that the autopsy report of one of the individuals who died as a result of military brutalities indicates that the deceased suffered a skull fracture and broken ribs. The MP for Garu made this revelation after a briefing on the issue by the National Security Minister in Parliament on Monday. Following the military attacks on residents of Garu and Timpani in the Upper East region, which left one person dead with over 50 individuals hospitalized, the Minister for National Security, Albert Kandapa, was in Parliament on Monday to brief the House on the incident. He said that the residents' attack on national security operatives, as well as the Garu police station, must be condemned. Indeed, Mr. Speaker, the House will agree with me that the attack on the national security personnel and also the Garu, Garu police station was reprehensible and must be condemned in no uncertain terms. Mr. Speaker, in many other jurisdictions, such attacks on security personnel in the course of their legitimate duties would be classified as an attack on the state. Mr. Speaker, subsequent to all this, on Saturday, October 28, 2023, the Minister of National Security and the Ghana Armed Forces conducted a joint operation in Garu to seize weapons used by the Irish youth groups to attack the national security personnel. Mr. Speaker, in the aftermath of the joint operation, Reports have emerged in respect of some excesses by the personnel who conducted the operation. Mr. Speaker, this aspect of the matter is currently before the court. It would therefore be inappropriate for me to comment on the matter as it would amount to contempt of court. We are very unhappy and very frustrated the way the military behaved in Garu. Several people have broken arms and broken legs. Somebody has, the one who died, according to the autopsy report, he had a broken skull and two broken, broken ribs. Ms. Honorable Minister, if this is how military retrieve arms, and we want to know, like you said, it's in the court, and we are all eager to hear. We want to find out how many arms that were retrieved from Garu and Buguri, if there is any at all. We need an independent investigation into what has happened. Two, we need the people who are nursing their wounds to be helped to treat themselves. And three, you know that somebody is dead. I believe by night has been brought to your attention that somebody is dead. I know also that you know that some people are still being hospitalized. And we believe that you should help them to get well. And three, the people that have been beaten need compensation. But above all, we need an apology as people of Garuk and Timpani.